So, Sagittarius, we start with the recent past. We have the Three of Cups. With the Three of Cups, it's often considered to be a card of reunions. But this is not always a romantic reunion. It's reunion in the broadest sense, running back into or meeting up with purposefully someone or something that you had been away from for some time. Now, it's generally or basically considered to be a happy reunion. Just know that this is an upbeat card in the tarot. It also can mean celebration, your own or someone that you cared about in the past, such as the celebration around a new birth, a new baby, a wedding, or other happy occasions. Now we have this card paired with the Justice card. The Justice card, it deals with the ideal of karma and the law of cause and effect. It's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with or you were dealing with in the past is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Sometimes you, or sometimes you could have been called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone you cared about and this could have sometimes been as difficult and demanding as it is when you're up against something that is completely of your own making. So what you needed to do was make sure you did not blame yourself unnecessarily. If you were directly involved in a court case, it was likely to be resolved at least in a large way or a, or a large degree in your favor. And that's your recent past. Now we move on to the present with the Ten of Pentacles. Now the I'm sorry, the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles, it speaks of authority, tradition, and success in money matters. So when this card appears in a reading, it's a good sign that now is not a time to be a maverick. Now is a time to follow the established way of doing things. This card, it also stands for a male figure in your life. It usually refers to a very masculine man and he normally or usually has hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum. If he's referring or if this is referring to a man in your life, just know that this is a man who you can believe in and trust 100%. And that's with the King of Pentacles. We have it paired with the Knight of Wands. Now the Knight of Wands it's a very good time for travel if you can manage to get away. 
you should be feeling charged up, full of energy, and ready to get things done. Your self-confidence is more than likely to be increasing, and this should help you towards reaching your goals. Now, the knights are often message bearers. The messages are more than likely very positive, and they could be related to work or career. Your projects, they're more than likely to, to be or have been more successful than you would have expected or predicted. You have a lot of reasons to feel pride, so make sure you take time to savor it. So with these two cards paired together, once again, the King of Pentacles, it's about success in money matters. It speaks about authority, tradition, and also could be speaking about a male figure with dark hair and dark eyes. And it's, it's a male figure that you can definitely trust in many, many ways. And because this is paired with the Knight of Wands, this male figure, he could be speaking to you by way of message, text message, a letter in the mail, and it could be um, related to work, but not necessarily it could be in other ways it, it definitely will be positive and good news for you so that's going to be the present now let's move on to the challenge and we have the nine of wands now the nine of wands if you take a good look at this picture or the image on the card you can see that it's about anxiety and worry or it's a good indicator of anxiety and worry being burdened and keyed up over concerns so the first and best step is often to take a deep breath and calm down. Don't let the things you are worried about overwhelm you. Take it one day at a time, one hour at a time, if that's what you need to do. Because at least some of the worries will very likely turn out to be imaginary all in your head so get very specific on what you are afraid of and pick it apart what is the true likelihood of the worry actually happening that's the question you'll be needing to ask yourself so go ahead and confirm so go ahead and comfort yourself and if you need help, don't hesitate to ask for it. Asking for help, it definitely is the mark of a strong person. We have this card paired with the Five of Pentacles, which can point to a time when life is feeling less than secure. Now, the important thing to remember is that there is always help available when we need it from forces, both seen and unforeseen. You could be feeling alone, but you have the capacity to change that. Reach out. You feel being left out in the cold as though everyone else in the world has everything and you are the only one suffering. That's how you could be feeling. 
realize that this is not the case. It's definitely not the case. So do the best you can with what you have, but remember that the wise thing to do if you need help is to go ahead and ask for it. The help you need will come. So with these two cards paired together, they're basically about uh, don't be too proud to ask for help if you need it. Because with the Nine of Wands, it's letting you know you could be feeling anxious or you have anxiety or worry about something. And it could just be all imaginary. It's all in your head. So just pick it apart and make it work for yourself. Or just um, talk to others if you feel that uh, you have a situation or a matter that you have stuck in your head. And do not keep it to yourself. That's going to be your challenge. And we move on to the, to the outcome. We have the Seven of Cups. Now the Seven of Cups, it's a card about choices. It can often indicate that um, a little confusion or maybe uncertainty and it can even also point to disorganization. You could possibly have too much going on. So it basically is showing that you need to narrow your focus. Uh, you're probably trying to do too much and doing most of it not very good or not very well. So just choose a few things that are on your plate. Work through these items one by one carefully. And you may be feeling, or you could be feeling like you're taking on too much or a little bit overwhelmed. But remember that you're in control of the situation. You can you can definitely control some of the things now, if not all of them, how much you are trying to take on, that depends on you. Okay, so we have this card paired with the Wheel of Fortune. Now the Wheel of Fortune, it reminds us that this too shall pass. Whether it's good times or bad times, it passes. If all of a sudden you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective as that too, like everything else, changes. Live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize that much of life is outside of your control. But that even that's okay. Go ahead and roll with any changes, roll with the punches, and think positively. So with these two cards paired together, the Seven of Cups is letting you know there's a need to narrow your focus. You're probably doing too much and not doing all of those things very well. So narrow those things down so that you don't feel overwhelmed and it's paired with the will of fortune because if you're if you're experiencing positive changes it that could change and if you're experiencing negative or not so good changes or happenings in your life that could change for the other way, for the better. So that's going to be your outcome. Sagittarius, I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you like to do. And I thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.